A very pleasant good afternoon and welcome to our noonday prayer. As a matter of fact, as we do our midday devotion today, we are mindful and part of the focus today is that we are soon tomorrow to enter the week of prayer for Christian unity. So we'll spend a little time today reflecting on that. But let us first observe a moment of silent prayer as we prepare for this devotion. And as I said, the week of prayer for Christian unity will run from January 18th to the 25th. And this year around the country, different denominations and churches uh, will be observing this week of prayer in different ways. Some will come together, some will be online, some will have ecumenical services and so forth. But for each of us, this is an opportunity once a year, especially, for us to remember to pray for one another, to bring into greater focus the prayer of our Lord when he said, Lord, I pray that they'll be one as you and I are one. And to start off the week of prayer, which is actually tomorrow, but I will take advantage of using the focus. The first day is going to be under the sub team we observe his star in the east. The challenge is for God to raise us up and draw us to your perfect light. God is love. This is how he showed his love among us. He sent his only son into the world that we may have life through him. O oh God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our psalm for today is Psalm 139. O Lord, you have searched me and, and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You search out my path and my living lying down. You are acquainted with all my ways. Even before a word is on my tongue, O Lord, you know it completely. You hem me in behind and before and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is so high that I cannot attain it. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I ascend to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in Sheol, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and settle at the farthest limits of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me and your right hand shall hold me fast. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our reading comes from the second letter to Timothy, chapter 1, and beginning to read from verse 7. For God did not give us a spirit of cowardice, but rather a spirit of power, and of love, and of self-discipline. Do not be ashamed, then, of the testimony about our Lord or of me, his prisoner, but join with me in suffering for the gospel, relying on the power of God, who saved us and called us with a holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace. This grace was given to us in Christ Jesus before the ages began, but it has now been revealed through the appearing of our Savior, Christ Jesus, who abolished death and brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. 
the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now let me share a, a little reflection that comes with this focus on the week for prayer, week of prayer for Christian unity. It says, in this fragile and uncertain world, we look for light. We look for the good within ourselves. But often we are so overwhelmed by our weakness that hope fails us. Our confidence rests in God, who in wisdom enables us to hope for his mercy. We are surprised when it comes in human form. Christ is the light in our midst. God's gift to us is a spirit of power and love. We are drawn forward on the way to this perfect light by God's Holy Spirit, not by relying on our own strength and ability. In the midst of darkness, the star from the east penetrates the depths of the darkness that separates us from one another. The star's light continues to shine change the face of history. Throughout the ages, by the lives of Christ's followers, the world has come to know the hope that is inspired by the Holy Spirit. And the risen one continues to shine like a beacon guiding all into this perfect light and overcoming the darkness which separates us from one another. The desire to overcome the darkness that separates us compels us to pray and work for Christian unity. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial. Deliver us from evil, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, hear our prayer. Let our cry come to you. Creator of light, Illumine our path by the light of Christ, who moves before us and leads us. May he be a beacon for our pilgrimage. Enlighten us and dwell within us. Guide us to discover a manger in our hearts where a great light still shines. We thank you for the gift of that unfading star, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Heal our divisions and draw us closer to the light that we may find our unity in him. Amen. Grant, Lord, that we may be faithful to you without turning aside. Worship you without growing weary. Serve you without failing. Diligently seek you. Happily find you and forever possess you the one and only God, blessed forever and ever. Amen. Sisters and brothers, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now, may the Lord bless us and keep us. May the Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon us and grant us his peace. And the peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep our hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with us and our loved ones this day and remain with us always. Amen. Amen.